It's David here from Site3D and I'm going to quickly show you surcharged outfalls in Site3D. So I have a drainage network here that's flowing through this pond towards this outfall over here at S18 and I want to simulate this where that outfall is in a ditch say and it already has water in it. So what I need to do is go to my drainage tools and go to my manhole properties and select the outfall and under the outfall options here, we have a surcharge tick box. I can tick this and then type in an absolute elevation. So at the moment, our invert elevation is 11.9. So maybe I want this to say 12.5 or say 12.8, something like that. Click OK. And then I can run my simulation. Go to the drainage analysis, uh, run a storm and click run simulation. That will then run that and we can then see if I scroll down we have our outfall details and it's saying surcharge with a constant level and telling me what that elevation is and what the depth in the manhole for that elevation is. So we can then scroll down and have a look at the information at the bottom and we can see that the manholes and the conduits list are showing surcharging on the, both the manholes and the conduits. So now I can go back to the other program, uh, back to Site3D and we can remove that surcharge and see what the difference is. So I can go back in here, I could change the elevation, I could just untick surcharge, click OK, and run the simulation again, same information, hit run, and now I've got updated results. If I scroll down, it's saying the outfall is free discharge now, and I can scroll down and we can see our um, manholes and our conduits now show OK. So we can see that it has made a difference by having a surcharge outfall or not. And we can see that information on here by just toggling between the two. Thanks for watching.